Hi, my name is Tim Thomas. I'm a research faculty at the University of New Mexico in Albuquerque, and I'm working with a local company in Albuquerque called Creative C, which is producing some pretty exciting integrated technology uh, that I'd like to talk to you about briefly. Uh, my background is a PhD in elementary particle physics, but I'm going to talk to you about a different kind of particle here. Um, Creative C has created a hardware platform and an associated software library called Scorpy, which allows us to uh, integrate compute and visualization intensive uh, applications in one platform. So there's a visualization node with three um, Quadro K5000 GPUs by NVIDIA. Uh, one, each row is run by one GPU. And on the back of the rack on the other side here, we have two uh, systems with three GTX 580s each that are going to do compute. So while the compute nodes are initializing, I can play around. There we go. I can play around with the visualization node. And what you see is three groups of balls. You notice they're growing much more rapidly now. And um, what is happening is on one compute node with three GPUs, we have asked the three GPUs to compute the three random number, the, the, the three random walk processes in one giant virtual GPU that's been uh, aggregated by a ray fire. And the other compute nodes similarly were getting a ray fire to aggregate three GPUs. And you can see that the balls are evolving much more rapidly. And uh, the programming is extremely simple. And again, just to demonstrate the distributed nature of the calculation, if I go to one of the compute nodes and kill the corresponding process that is driving the array fire work, we see that I've stopped some of the balls, but not other ones. Yeah, zoom in to where you can just fly through the middle. That's awesome. Here's, here's where you can see in detail. We've color-coded the balls by which GPU they're associated with. So you can see that one of the GPUs is still running a random walk for that ball, and that ball is overlapped with other balls. But because I've stopped the process driving the array fire aggregated GPUs, those balls aren't moving. Right. So... So to me, this is just incredible because you have six GPUs doing compute. That's the six balls. Each ball is a different color. And you have three GPUs driving the nine displays. So that's right. nine total GPUs to do this compute plus visualization that's system. Right. And what's beautiful about all this is the extreme acceleration that you get out of the hardware of the system, the extreme ease of programming that you get out of a combination of these Scorpion and Rayfire libraries. And the best part is you end up with a virtual instrument where you steered simulation of extremely large systems. All of this uh, at a very modest cost. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yes, you are.